The federal government is seeking to strike a deal with state premiers for a plan to strengthen renters' rights. Let's go to Canberra joining us live, Deputy Opposition Leader Susan Lee. Susan, good to see you. Thanks for your time. What do you make of this, this plan uh, that the Prime Minister, although he does say that he's got no plan to nationalise private housing, but your thoughts on, on coming together with the state premiers to get a deal going on restricting the amount of rents that can be increased? Well, he needs to get a deal. He's talked up his relationship with Labor premiers across mainland Australia. And we have a national housing crisis right now. Homeowner starts are at record lows. Buildings, building approvals are at record lows. And if you're a young person trying to get into a housing, into a house, into the housing market, um, you've, you're feeling pretty desperate and despairing at the moment, Pete. So we can't negotiate our way out of this housing crisis or talk our way out of it. We have to build our way out of it. It is connected to supply. It is connected to levers that the state governments can pull. But Anthony Albanese has talked a big game here on housing mm. and I do hope he comes out of this meeting with something more than just putting more money on the table. And let's face it, the cost of building a house is going up. I'm going around the country and I'm seeing the manufacturers of everything that goes into your house, whether it be the glass, the aluminium window frames, the fixtures, the fittings. Because of Labor's energy policy and their lack of a proper plan on inflation, the cost of everything is going up, and that includes housing. We've got builders going broke. This is a national housing crisis, and it is of real concern. When it comes to rents, though, I mean, remembering that, that many homeowners uh, and investors are, are just mum and dad investors, so what, what, if any, measures would you like to see taken to limit rent rises? All of these policies, some of which have been put forward by the Greens, I wouldn't necessarily trust because they're not the main thing that needs to happen. The main thing that needs to happen is that supply needs to be pushed from the state level, but even more importantly than that, there needs to be a proper plan on inflation nationally yeah. that actually means that you can build an affordable home because by the time you pay for everything that you now need to into a new home, it's not affordable. It's a premium product and therefore it's out of the price range of young Australians. And we have to think of young people who are locked out of the housing market right now because of the cost yeah. and the unavailability of a new home. Well, he does want commitments uh, with the states around planning laws so that one million homes around the country can be freed up. Is that a step in the right direction then? There is action from the states that needs to happen and the support that could come from the Commonwealth should be directed at the things that actually produce those new developments, put the utilities, so the energy, the gas, the water, onto new blocks and new planning areas and get it started. So it needs to be practical and it needs to be meaningful and it can't just be money on the table that disappears into state government coffers. It has to be the agreement that actually has as its purpose the unblocking of supply, the need for a young person to be able to get into a new home and as I said, Pete, we we can't talk our way out of this problem. We yeah. have to build our so, way out. So when it comes to rent freezes, though, I mean, or rent rises, do you have a view on whether it should be only one rent rise a year or one rent rise every two years, uh, which is what the Victorians were looking at? Look, historically and internationally, these policies don't work well. Why would you focus on a policy that doesn't actually work well? Why would you not focus on the one single lever yeah. and the series so should, of policies that, be left that alone. will actually make a difference. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense to talk about rent freezes. And when I listen to the Greens, I often know that their economic policies are in fantasy land. What makes sense is to unblock supply and okay. for the state governments to actually be pushed into doing right. this in so a way that makes a difference on the ground. So supply is the area uh, to be fixed, rent left supply, alone. Supply is always the answer. Okay. Supply is always the answer. It's the number one thing because, look, as we look at the statistics, Pete, uh, housing approvals, new starts, and I talk to builders and they tell me about how much the cost has gone up okay. and how, uh, you know, they, they're, they're, they're looking at insolvency because of the there's contracts that they've made. Quick one on energy here, Susan. The coalition set to make nuclear part of your energy plan from 2025. Why not do this while you're in power? You had enough time. We talked about it while we were in power and the work that Peter Dutton and Ted O'Brien are doing now is excellent. And as yeah, I talk to young people, it, they're interested in nuclear. Well, 
it's a conversation that has to bring the whole country with us. It's not about directing from the top. It's about agreement also with the Labor Party that has run a mile from this, which is a big mistake on their part because you need clean base load power to mm. support renewables. And this is the point that Anthony Albanese and his team completely miss. But most importantly, if we want to get to that clean emissions future, that zero emissions future, we do need nuclear. We do need it to support renewables. But as we talk about it, and as I said, Ted O'Brien and Peter Dutton are leading a really good conversation. It's a conversation we're up for, Pete. Unfortunately, mm. Labor is not up for the conversation. Well, they uh, say it's too expensive. I think in Warringah recently. Well, they do, but they're not looking at it and they're not accepting that the rest of the world does not take that view and the rest of the world is advancing to small modular reactors and micro reactors. Um, a poll in Warringah of young people actually had more agreeing that nuclear should be explored and we should head in that direction than actually thought the opposite. So the tide is turning. Again, it's a conversation the whole country needs to participate in, mm. and they are, just not the Labor Party. OK, Susan Lee, we're out of time. Appreciate your time, though.